Hi everybody, Josh Ford here. How's it going? Today has been a day for the history books, okay? Uh, if you were watching the news earlier today, we have now expanded our military, expanded our reach into the cosmos, okay? Because Donald Trump signed into law the creation of our sixth military branch, the Space Fleet, okay? Boom, yeah, the nerd in me just utterly exploded craziness. You know, I couldn't believe that uh, this was actually going on. You know, it's one of those, you've been held down by fear and war and, uh, you know, just the negativity of the deep state for so long. For so long that for something so huge, so positive to come along, to pull the country together uh, to, for something productive, something amazing as exploring space to not only going to the moon and just coming back, but this they were talking about setting up bases on the moon and making that just a stepping stone to go to the Mars and, you know, making uh, inner Earth, you know, uh, I guess uh, local Earth space travel. Uh, they're going to be giving access to all kinds of corporations. And so you're going to see regular travel for people probably commercialized. I mean, that's pretty wild uh, to think that at some point, maybe five, ten years down the road, hopefully not even that long, you know, you'll be able to, you know, like you would a bus fare ticket and take a ride to outer space. I mean, that's just pretty wild. Um, I'm very excited about that. I, you know, when you think about how this affects the average American who hasn't done, you know, research into hidden technologies and, you know, our space fleets and not terrestrials, you know, when you just, you know, break it down to technologies that have been hidden from the American people for the last hundred years, I mean, you really start to think about how, you know, we're serfs, you know, and the deep state has been the king in the castle with, you know, a uh, flat screen and remote with the kicking his feet up while everybody else is working out in the field. Uh, so the, the difference is just night and day. Uh, what we have with technology is more like the age of Star Trek. And what we're given is just, well, look around you. Uh, right now, uh, this is going to be, I believe, President Trump's way to disclose technologies. It's a way of rolling out technologies and our current space fleet out to the public. Okay, the current space fleet's name is Solar Warden. Uh, there's plenty of videos and stuff on YouTube if you want to check those out. Um, but... You know, basically, I wanted to focus on uh, what's going on with, you know, how this affects us. And we are going to get new technologies rolled out, obviously. You know, it's not going to be the same old, you know, the astronaut attached to the line going, oh, you know, kind of thing. It's, no. Uh, we're beyond that. Uh, Anti-gravity technology, all kinds of new technologies. And just every time we go into space, every time we go to the moon and Mars and, you know, local Earth orbit, I mean, it's a learning experience. We're going to learn, we're going to get better with technology, things are going to become better and more efficient. Uh, just like, you know, back when we had to cross the, uh, the Atlantic, you know, to get to uh, the, the United States, you know, it's just, it's a learning experience. As boats get better, ships get better, space vessels get better. Uh, and this is going to be an amazing way to roll out technology and, you know, advance the entire human race. Uh, when you start thinking about, you know, the opportunities, yeah, you know, with the local Earth orbit and corporations being able to send their own spaceships up and be able to do whatever, you know, for science, for pleasure, for to be able to go to outer space, uh, it's going to be an amazing opportunity for so many people. The jobs that it's going to create. You know, President Trump wants to redo the immigration plan so that we can bring in more productive people into the United States, people that are, you know, able to help out with these sort of aspects of space travel and stuff. So, you know, we want the best and brightest, and that's how you get it. You know, you set these lofty goals, and you bring in the best and the brightest, not just, you know, this is America. So we bring in the best and brightest from everywhere, and we work together to accomplish these amazing things. And... You know, Trump's right on the money doing this. I think he's going to pull the country together in an amazing way. And one of the things I, I noticed hearing was that they were going to allow 
for you know the low Earth orbit and corporations to be able to transmit video feeds, live feeds, videos of space, and all that stuff back to the Earth. So one of the things that has often been uh, the way with NASA previously, before new administrators and stuff that have just taken over thanks to Trump, you know, they were deep state administrators, you know, that were hiding things from us. So, you know, if something came across the screen or whatever, you know, all of a sudden, you know, the astronauts would switch to the, uh, the medical frequencies and nobody could hear, and the video would have technical difficulties, and it was frustrating for anyone and everyone that wanted to know more, to see more, and not to have things hidden and kept from us. So it seems those days are fast coming to an end. What does that mean? Uh, it means the future. It means non-terrestrials. It means discovering things that we're going to have to open up our minds to, uh, to explore and, you know, and how we're going to deal with these things as we run into them in outer space. Uh, let's hope we do it in a productive, peaceful, loving manner. You know, we want to go into space and we want to put our best foot forward. Uh, so this is going to be exciting and you know there's lots to do and lots to learn and uh, this is just the beginning but I mean this is Donald Trump here and he doesn't do anything small, he doesn't do anything slow and he doesn't seem to put up with any BS so who knows in you know before we even re-elect him again in 2020 just how far this is going to go. So, it's exciting stuff, and the icing on the cake today was the investigations into the Hillary uh, Clinton emails and her uh, rigging of the elections and tampering with evidence. So, that, that was icing on the cake today after all of this. So, it has been a great day, lots of great news, and uh, I hope you're as excited as I am to open up a new future for everybody, and we're going to do it here in the United States. So... Peace out. Force be with you, my friends, and uh, I'll bring you updates as I get them on this. Thanks.